The Book of Baruch, Shiny. Second Baruch, Chapter 41. And I answered and said, For whom and for how many shall these things be? Or who will be worthy to live at that time? For I will speak before you everything that I think, and I will ask of you regarding those things which I meditate. For lo, I see many of your people who have withdrawn from your covenant and cast from them the yoke of your Torah. But others again have I seen who have forsaken their vanity and fled for refuge beneath your wings. What therefore will be to them, or how will the last time receive them, or perhaps the time of these will assuredly be weighed, and as the beam inclines, will they be judged accordingly? Chapter 42 And he answered and said unto me, These things also will I show unto you, as for what you said, to whom will these things be, and how many will they be? To those who have believed, there shall be the good which was spoken of aforetime, and to those who despise, there shall be the contrary of these things. And as for what you said regarding those who have drawn near, and those who have withdrawn, this is the word. As for those who were before subject, and afterwards withdrew and mingled themselves with the seed of mingled peoples, the time of these was the former, and was accounted as something exalted. And as for those who before knew, not, but afterwards knew life, and mingled only with the seed of the people which had separated itself, the time of these is the latter, and is accounted as something exalted. And time shall succeed to time, and season to season, and one shall receive from another, and then with a view to the consummation shall everything be compared according to the measure of the times and the hours of the seasons. For corruption shall take those that belong to it, and life those that belong to it. And the dust shall be called, and there shall be said to it, Give back that which is not yours, and raise up all that you have kept until its time. Chapter 43 But you, Baruch, direct your heart to that which has been said to you, and understand those things which have been shown to you, for there are many eternal consolations for you. For you shall depart from this place, and you shall pass from the regions which are now seen by you, and you shall forget whatsoever is corruptible, and shall not again recall those things which happen among mortals. Go, therefore, and command your people, and come to this place, and afterwards fast seven days, and then I will come to you and speak with you. Chapter 44 And I, Baruch, went from thence, and came to my people, and I called my firstborn son, and the Gadolhalius, my friends, and seven of the elders of the people. And I said unto them, Behold, I go unto my fathers according to the way of all the earth. But withdraw ye not from the way of the Torah, but guard and admonish the people which remain, lest they withdraw from the commandments of Al Elohim. For ye see that he whom we serve is just, and our Creator is no respecter of persons. And see ye what has befallen Sion, and what has happened to Yerushalayim. For the judgment of Al Al Elohim shall therefore thereby be made known and his ways, which through past finding out are right. For if ye endure and preserve in his fear and do not forget his Torah, the times shall change over you for good, and ye shall see the consolation of Sion. 
because whatsoever is now is nothing, but that which shall be is very great. For everything that is corruptible shall pass away, and everything that dies shall depart, and all that the present time shall be forgotten, and all the present time shall be forgotten. Nor shall there be any remembrance of the present time, which is defiled with evils. For that which runs now runs into vanity, and that which prospers shall quickly fall and be humiliated. For that which is to be shall be the object of desire, and for that which comes afterward shall we hope. For it is a time that passes not away. And the hour comes which abides forever. And the new world comes which does not turn to corruption. Those who depart to its blessedness. And has no mercy on those who depart to torment. And leads not to perdition those who live in it. For these are they who shall inherit that time which has been spoken of, and theirs is the inheritance of the promised time. These are they who have acquired for themselves treasures of wisdom, and with them are found stores of understanding, and from mercy have they not withdrawn, and the truth of the Torah have they preserved. For unto them shall be given the world to come, but the dwelling of the rest who are many shall be in the fire. Chapter 45 Do ye therefore, so far as ye are able, instruct the people, for that labor is ours. For if ye teach them, ye shall quicken them. Chapter 46 And my son and the elders of the people answered and said unto me, Has Al Elohim humiliated us to such a degree as to take you from us quickly? And truly we shall be in darkness, and there shall be no light to the people who are left. For where again shall we seek the Torah? Or who will distinguish for us between death and life? And I said unto them, The throne of Al Elohim I cannot resist. Nevertheless, there shall not be wanting to Yasharal a wise man, nor a son of the Torah, to the seed of Yaakov, but only prepare ye your hearts, that ye may obey the Torah, and be subject to those who in fear are wise and understanding, and prepare your souls, your being, that ye may not depart from them. For if ye do these things, good news shall come unto you, which I before told you of nor shall ye fall into the torment of which I testified to you before. But with regard to the word that I was to be taken, I did not make it known to them or to my son. Chapter 47 And when I had gone forth and dismissed them, I went thence and said unto them, Behold, I go to Chevron, for thither El Elohim has sent me. And I came to that place where the word had been spoken unto me, and I sat there and fasted seven days. Chapter 48 And it came to pass after the seventh day that I prayed before Al Elohim and said, O Yahuwah, you summon the advent of the times, and they stand before you. You cause the power of the ages to pass away, and they do not resist you. You arrange the method of the seasons, and they obey you. You alone know the duration of the generations, and you reveal not your mysteries to many. You make known the multitude of the fire, and you weigh the lightness of the wind. You explore the limit of the heights, and you scrutinize the depths of the darkness. You care for the number which pass away, that they may be preserved, and you prepare an abode for those that are to be. You remember the beginning which you have made, and the destruction that is to be you, forget not. With nods of fear and indignation, you command the flames, and they change into Ruach Oath, spirits, and with a word you quicken that which was not, 
and with mighty power you hold that which has not yet come. You instruct created things in the understanding of you, and you make wise the spheres so as to minister in their orders. Armies innumerable stand before you and minister in their orders quietly at your nod. Hear your servant and give ear to my petition. For in a little time are we born, and in a little time do we return. But with you hours are as time, and days as generations. Be not therefore wroth with man, for he is nothing, and take not account of our works. For what are we? For lo, by your gift do we come into the world and we depart not of our own will. For we said not to our parents, Beget us, nor did we send to Sheol and say, Receive us. What therefore is our strength, that we should bear your wrath? Or what are we, that we should endure your judgment? Protect us in your compassions, and in your mercy help us. Behold the little ones, that are subject unto you, and save all that draw nigh unto you, and destroy not the hope of our people, and cut not short the times of our aid. For this is the nation which you have chosen, and these are the people to whom you find no equal. But I will speak now before you, and I will say as my heart thinks, in you do we trust, for lo, your Torah is with us, and we know that we shall not fall so long as we guard your statutes. To all time we are blessed at all events in this that we have not mingled with the other nations. For we are all one celebrated people who have received one Torah from Al, and the Torah which is amongst us will aid us, and the surpassing wisdom which is in us will help us. And when I prayed and said these things, I was greatly weakened. And he answered and said unto me, You have prayed simply, O Baruch, and all your words have been heard. But my judgment exacts its own, and my Torah exacts its rights. For from your words I will answer you, and from your prayer I will speak to you. For this is as follows. He that is corrupted is not at all. He has both wrought iniquity so far as he could do anything, and has not remembered my goodness, nor accepted my long suffering. Therefore you shall surely be taken up, as I before told you. For that time shall arise which brings affliction, for it shall come and pass by with quick vehemence, and it shall be turbulent, coming in the heat of indignation. And it shall come to pass in those days that all the inhabitants of the earth shall be moved one against another, because they know not that my judgment has drawn nigh. For there shall not be found many wise at that time, and the intelligent shall be but a few. Moreover, even those who know shall most of all be silent. And there shall be many rumors and tidings, not a few. And the doings of phantasmata shall be manifest and promises, not a few, be recounted. Some of them shall prove idle, and some of them shall be confirmed, and honor shall be turned into shame, and strength humiliated into contempt, and probity destroyed, and beauty shall become ugliness. And many shall say to many at that time, Where has the multitude of intelligence hidden itself, and whither has the multitude of wisdom removed itself? And while they are meditating on these things, then envy shall arise in those who had not thought aught of themselves. And passions shall seize him that is peaceful, 
and many shall be stirred up in anger to injure many, and they shall rouse up armies in order to shed blood, and in the end they shall perish together with them. And it shall come to pass at the selfsame time that a change of times shall manifestly appear to every man, because in all those times they polluted themselves, and they practiced oppression, and walked every man in his own works, and remembered not the Torah of Al Elohim. Therefore a fire shall consume their thoughts, and in flame shall the meditations of their mind be tried. For the judge shall come, and will not tarry, because each of the inhabitants of the earth knew when he was transgressing, but by my Torah they knew not by reason of their pride. But many shall then assuredly weep, yea, over the living, more than over the dead. And I answered and said, O Adam, what have you done to all those who are born from you? And what will be said to the first Chua, Eve, who hearkened to the serpent? For all this multitude are going to corruption, nor is there any numbering of those whom the fire devours. But again, I will speak in your presence. You, O Yahuwah, my Adonai, know what is in your creature. For you did of old command the dust to produce Adam. And you know the number of those who are born from him, and how far they have sinned before you, who have existed and not confess you as their creator. And as regards all these, their end shall convict them, and your Torah, which they have transgressed, shall requite them on your day. But now let us dismiss the wicked and inquire about the righteous, and I will recount their blessedness and not be silent in sh celebrating their kavod, glory, which is reserved for them. For assuredly, as in a little time in this transitory world in which ye live, ye have endured much labor, so in that world to which there is no end, ye shall receive great light. Chapter 49 Nevertheless, I will again ask from you, O El Elohim, yea, I will ask mercy from him who made all things. In what shape will those live who live in your day? Or how will the splendor of those who are after that time continue? Will they then resume this form of the present and put on these entrammeling members, which are now involved in evils, and in which evils are consummated? Or will you perchance change these things which have been in the world as also the world chapter 50 and he answered and said unto me hear baruch this word and write in the remembrance of your heart all that you shall learn for the earth shall then assuredly restore the dead which it now receives in order to preserve them it shall make no change in their form but as it has received, so shall it restore them. And as I delivered them unto it, so also shall it raise them. For then it will be necessary to show the living that the dead have come to life again, and that those who had departed have returned again. And it shall come to pass when they have severally recognized those whom they know now, then judgment shall grow strong, and those things which before were spoken of shall come. Chapter 51 And it shall come to pass, when that appointed day has gone by, that then shall the aspect of those who are condemned be afterwards changed, and the kavod of those who are justified for the aspect of those who now act wickedly shall become worse than it is, as they shall suffer torment. Also as for the kavod of those who have now been justified in my Torah, 
who have had understanding in their life and who have planted in their heart the root of wisdom. Then their splendor shall be glorified in changes, and the form of their face shall be turned into the light of their beauty, that they may be able to acquire and receive the world which does not die, which is then promised to them. For over this above all shall those who come then lament that they rejected my Torah and stopped their ears, that they might not hear wisdom or receive understanding. When therefore they see those over whom they are now exalted, but who shall then be exalted and glorified more than they, they shall respectively be transformed, the latter into the splendor of Malachim, angels, and the former shall yet more waste away in wonder at the visions and in the beholding of the forms. For they shall first behold and afterwards depart to be tormented. But those who have been saved by their works and to whom the Torah has been now a hope and understanding and expectation and wisdom, a confidence, shall wonders appear in their time. For they shall behold the world, which is now invisible to them, and they shall behold the time which is now hidden from them, and time shall no longer age them. For in the heights of the world shall they dwell, and they shall be made like unto the Malachim angels, and be made equal to the stars, and they shall be changed into every form they desire, from beauty into loveliness, and from light into the splendor of Kavod. For there shall be spread before them the extents of paradise, and there shall be shown to them the beauty of the majesty of the living creatures, which are beneath the throne, and all the armies of the Malachim, who are now held fast by my word, lest they should appear, and are held fast by a command, that they may stand in their places till their advent comes. Moreover, there shall then be excellency in the righteous surpassing that in the Malachim. For the first shall receive the last, those whom they were expecting, and the last of those whom they used to hear that they had passed away. For they have been delivered from this world of tribulation and laid down the burden of anguish. For what then have men lost their life? And for what have those who were on the earth exchanged their soul? Being. For then they choose not for themselves this time, which beyond the reach of anguish could not pass away, but they chose for themselves that time whose issues are full of lamentations and evils. And they denied the world which ages not those who come to it. And they rejected the time of Kavod, so that they shall not come to the honor of which I told you before.